Hello, and welcome to Cooking with Lancy Pants, episode 3, 4, yeah, 4. Today, we are going to make broiled chicken. Let's get started. Chop up the garlic. to do this until it's all nicely minced. Put it in the frying pan. So this is the thing. When you're sauteing the spices, make sure you have the right oil that doesn't burn at a certain temperature. Because if you have the wrong kind of oil, It'll give everything that you have done a very dark texture, smell, and flavor. You'll learn from your mistakes and toss it out. Fresh chicken, leg quarters. Take them out of the package and place them upside down. Take off some excess fat. Look at that. This is all fat. You're not going to have that. Some people do. Just pick away at the kind, the stuff that you don't really want to have. Good thing to do if you're gonna have guests over and then they look at their chicken and you're, they're like, oh, there's a bone in here. Bones are natural in here. So just, just ignore them if they say that. But if they say something like, oh, there's a piece of feather or a, the end of the feather, you're not gonna have an excuse because you didn't listen to what I was saying. Anytime you are touching raw meat, wash your hands. Take some canola oil, pour it onto the chicken. And just start rubbing it in. Now that the oil is fully immersed into the chicken, It'll help the spices to mix in with the chicken. Spanish paprika or roasted paprika. The thing about cooking without recipes is you're bound to make a lot of mistakes. Without mistakes, you can't grow. Now that the butter has melted, place the chicken inside the pan. We can take the, re the leftover garlic and put it in the pan. Petite cut diced tomatoes. This will add to the flavor. Frozen carrots, crinkle cut carrots, and add that to the mixture. That'll add some sweetness to it. Try to put it on the edge so that the skin is still showing. Take some oil and baste it on the top. Just take the baster and start spreading it around the chicken. Now that the chicken is about halfway done, take the foil off. Ooh, look at that. If it's at 165 or more, then it's ready to be done. Let's crank the heat a little bit to char the top. After about 10 minutes, look at that. Look at how golden brown that top is. Sorry guys for the quality change. Just remember when you're videoing to charge the battery of your phone first. Mm. That falls apart. Mm. Wow, look at the crust, it's crispy and crumbly, definitely a good meal.